with a story that needs verifying. Polio is back in the headlines after the first case in the U.S. in nearly a decade was reported in New York. This is unbelievable, really. We wanted to go beyond that headline to get additional context. Abby Larico joins us with what you should know. Abby. Ladies, good morning. The CDC says most people who get infected with polio virus don't have visible symptoms. About one in four may feel like they have the flu and actually a smaller proportion of people will get more serious symptoms affecting the brain and spinal cord. So this morning we have three fast facts on polio. Our sources are the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the World Health Organization and Dr. Samina Evers with Novant Health. First question we have here is how does polio spread? The WHO and CDC say polio primarily spreads through contact with fecal matter that gets in your mouth. It could be by touching a contaminated object. So it's a good idea to wash your hands before you eat to protect yourself. Is the oral polio vaccine given out decades ago still effective? You might be asking this question. Well, in the 1950s, some kids got their polio inoculation orally in a sugar cube. It too is an effective form of being protected against polio. Okay, last question. Does the U.S. still use the oral polio vaccine? According to Dr. Evers and the CDC, the answer is no. Here's why. There was a very, very low risk, like one in 2.4 million, that that oral polio virus, um, that vaccine that was given by mouth, could spread and cause polio. And so in 2000, it became routine in this country to use the inactivated polio vaccine, which is given as an injection. Some countries still administer the polio vaccine orally, though, because it is easier and it's cheaper. Polio is a serious disease, and as we mentioned, it can have serious consequences, but poses, it poses the highest risk for people who are unvaccinated. Luckily, millions of Americans are vaccinated against it. The shot is actually required at schools around the DMV as part of that list of requirements to go back to school. Annie, Allison? Just never thought uh, this would be in the headlines once again. Abby, thank you so much for that.